My choice of specialty really came from an interest in cancer early on that was more of an intellectual interest. But then this was really brought home more when my father was diagnosed with cancer when I had just finished college and it really reinforced my thoughts and choice to want to focus on cancer treatment and cancer research and dedicate my career to it. One of the obstacles that patients face when they've been diagnosed with melanoma is the diagnosis issue. That's a very anxiety-provoking situation until it's resolved. What is the diagnosis? The second issue is if the patient has a cancer, what are the chances that it's going to spread and what's the likelihood that the patient might die of that cancer? If there's a clinical problem that you're facing with a melanoma patient, to be able to say to the patient, well, we studied this exact situation and this is what we found and that's how we're treating you because of the results of an analysis that focused on 500 other patients exactly like you. And that's much more reassuring to us and I think the patient as well that what we're recommending is coming out of evidence-based medicine. We have a laboratory-based focus in terms of our research as well on melanoma. And what we're doing there in the laboratory is to try to identify what role individual genes play in the behavior associated with melanoma. And we use the information that we get from that research to tailor our recommendations and our treatment programs for individual patients. We've really witnessed a revolution in the approach to taking care of patients with melanoma. We've seen that the patient's lives have been prolonged and to see this transformation in a very short period of time that really has come out of research the entire melanoma community has been doing and to be able to offer these exciting treatments to patients and seeing them benefit from it is extremely gratifying.